Hello everyone and welcome back to Efficient Gaming. We're covering the Witcher Monster Slayer again. We are up to Monster Week 17 this week and the new monster this week is the Dark Knight. Now all Batman jokes aside, um, it's a pretty easy week and so we're going to keep it short and sweet. So let's check it out. So first, let's look at our what's new. Monster Week, Dark Knight. Witcher, do you sense it? The darkness slowly creeping in. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, it can only mean one thing. The long-awaited Dark Knights have finally gathered enough power to attack us. Complete this week's time tasks to end their merciless reign. Be the light that we need. Remember, this monster can be found near human settlements, most commonly found during the day. So this is our um, during the day common spectre, which is something that is still needed for the game. Uh, sometimes we get tasks where we need to kill spectres, uh, daily tasks that is. And so this is going to help fill those in without having to wait or go out venturing at night. So if we just have a quick look, dark night. Cool looking monster. I love how they've changed the fire that used to be there with red so it looks a bit like blood but still fire. It's it's cool. Um, spectres can be found near human settlements, most commonly found during the day. So in this time it lines up with what we've been told. We'll have a quick look at the time tasks and we'll give a couple of examples. Standard rewards for the week. Nothing special there. Kill 30 Dark Knights. It's actually a little low for a common monster. I'm sure it was like 50. I might be wrong though. Um, but if you do manage to kill 30 every day, you will have finished the page by the end of the week. Kill 10 monsters from the Spectre class while using Spectre Oil. Um, do you have an example of that? Kill 5 Dark Knights after performing at least 3 perfect parries. So I've got a video on this, but let me just go back to this one. So I actually find this one difficult because I never really need to use any of the oils to defeat anything now because I can do even the legendaries without it. Um, when I do a good job. Obviously, if you mess up a couple of things, it's useful to have oils or other potions in there to help you out. Uh, but I actually found a Nemeton this morning, and so I got three out of the ten of this just from using a single potion on a Nemeton that contains Spectres, because it doesn't say this week that we have to specifically use it against this monster, which is good in my eyes. So there's shortcuts for that. Um, kill five Dark Knights while performing at least three perfect fairies. So the example I'm going to give is going to do this one, while also at the same time killing a Dark Knight without performing any melee attacks. So why don't we have a very quick look at that. Alright, so this is just me showing you which two we're attempting, which is going to be the perfect parries, as well as the doing it with no melee attacks. So here's our Dark Knight on the map during the day. No surprise there. Uh, basic survivability build. Um, white Gold Potion from the Manticore Armor. Swift and Swallow Potion. It just gives you a relaxed amount of time because even though this is not a difficult monster, uh, you might not have practiced the perfect parries for a while like me. And I can get there and I have done a perfect battle of this one, but you, yeah get there eventually so no melee and perfect parries so I haven't done any perfect parries yet but this monster is still going to require killing so anytime my um, sign is up I am just using it to take its health down a bit but we will always of course make sure that we do more than the minimum required number of perfect parries we've done a very bad job so far but we're going to get a little bit better at it soon there we go learn the timing uh, I don't do a couple in a row yet, but yeah, not an excessive amount in a row. The timings on this one are quite similar. It's got one quite fast attack, that one, and one quite slow attack, which is not that one. It is. And right, that was the fast attack again. Again. That's the slow attack. So we're going to finish it off with a perfect parry here. Just to make 
make sure we've done enough, but that was a pretty easy task. You've got plenty of time to sit there and just do your perfect parries. I would have to say the reflect skill that I've bought recently in the combat skill tree is very beneficial for doing these things without melee, because um, the perfect parries that you get, which you need to do, um, will help to defeat the monster because you've got that reflect damage. So that's just showing you that we completed one out of five of those and we completed the killing it with no melee. Um, so that's the first one. Let's check out the next one. So kill a dark knight uh, in less than 15 seconds without using any bombs or signs. Now this is all about melee. Complete contrast to the other one. So I'm just showing you that's what we're going to attempt. This is our dark knight. We're going to use the incandescent heart because we are not blocking, we're not using any uh, signs, so I don't need the cooldown reduction that would have otherwise come from Manticore. So the potions I went for were a Thunderbolt potion, and I'm of course using the Spectre Oil. So we've got our first perfect parry in there, and we're literally just hitting it down with our sword. Now, our signs are up, but we can't use that, so we got a perfect, and we got a perfect, and we're good. It's literally, that's it. You just hit the monster and try and make your parries and your perfect crits, and it's as easy as that. So we finished that quest as well. Now, they are the only difficult quests for this week, so we've just covered all of them in about two minutes. Um, the other one, gather 50 units of powdered monster tissue, I'm done already. Um, it's all down to just, again, inventory management. So, quick week this week. We'll keep it nice and short. Um, hopefully, you all manage to fill up your best jury with this monster this week. If you're uh, out there and dedicated enough to searching for the monster. If not, I do hope you have a good week. And we will catch you next week. See ya.